Hello again, this is Dave Erickson here at the 2012 Ironman World Championship, and today I am joined by 24-year-old Joe Townsend, a member of the Royal Marine in uh, the UK. And this is your first time here in Kona? Yeah, first time here in Kona. It's a little bit warmer than the UK, but yeah, coping with it. A little bit about your backstory, so people get to know who you are. Five years ago, you were serving in Afghanistan, and then something happened. Yeah, that's correct. So I was in Afghanistan with 40 Commando Royal Marines. Uh, been out on patrol on the 8th of February 2008. Returning back from that patrol, I trod an improvised explosive device buried on the ground, which resulted in me losing both my legs above the knee. This happened when you were 18 years of age. Had you just uh, enlisted into the uh, Marines at that point? Yeah, I was 19 when I got hit. 19? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's recently I joined when I was 17, so I'd only been in for a couple of years. So, yeah, fairly early on to, into my career. Obviously, didn't plan for anything like that. Although, tried to make the best of things since. Were you uh, athletic before you uh, joined the Marines? I mean, I know as a Marine, you have to be very physically, you know, a uh, physical person in the first place. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Royal Marines have a reputation for being some of the fittest soldiers in the world. And obviously, I was part of that. But as regards to athletics, I, I didn't have a particular sport. I, I wasn't into running or cycling in a competing kind of way. Mm -hmm. Obviously I kept fit for my job and that was about it as, as far as my interest lay, lied with fitness. And then uh, tell me about your recovery and how long it took to get back to some sort of resemblance of normalcy after the accident. Okay, it's, it, I mean I'm still in the recovery phase now really. It's, it's almost five years on and still things can be better. You can still improve but that generally comes with time. I suppose the biggest turnaround point I had was two years ago when, when I looked at Ironman and thought I'm going to set myself a challenge of doing this and sort of trying to recover back to what I was. That's when I had a goal and a drive and a focus and something to achieve again. And then you set out to accomplish Ironman UK? Yeah, that was a the plan. There's a group of us from Headley Court. We're called uh, Team True Spirit and we're a bunch of injured ex-servicemen and support staff from Headley Court and our ch challenge was to get as many injured guys around the Ironman UK course in either a relay team competing individual legs or as I've done it myself as an individual racing to do the course in exactly the same conditions as everybody else. And it was at the Ironman UK um, event that you qualified for the Ironman World Championship? Yeah. In a roundabout kind of way, I got to the World Championship through the lottery. Okay. The UK doesn't have any qualifying slots for Kona Ironman, so I used the lottery to get my ticket and then used UK as proof that I could get here. Absolutely. So what does it mean to actually be here, regardless of how you got here, whether it was a qualifying spot or lottery spot, you're here now in Hawaii and the Big Island and the race is just a matter of hours away? Yeah, I mean, it's an amazing feeling to be here. I mean. People say this, but Iron Man really has changed my life. I went from being sort of, I put on a lot of weight. I wouldn't say I was feeling sorry for myself after injury, but I didn't really have much of a drive. When I picked up Iron Man, started competing, getting better. A lot of doors have opened for me since then. Obviously, I'm here in Hawaii now. I, I compete para triathlon for Great Britain. I'm now at university studying the strength and conditioning degree. This is all based around sort of picking up Ironman as a sport. So to be here for World Championships, yeah, it's just amazing. Well, good luck on Saturday. Nice to meet you, Joe. Yeah, thank you very much. Nice to meet you.